We're on the verge of a new frontier of mental health tracking technology, and it's coming to headphones. These are the MW75 Nero, and they're the first and only brain tracking headphones on the market. Yes, you heard that right. These headphones can actually track your brain activity, and they work. When I say they can track your brain activity, I don't mean they can read your mind or know what you're thinking. We're not quite that advanced yet. Specifically, they can track your focus levels. Now, how is that possible? Well, see these ear pads right here? These actually act as EEG sensors, which measure the electrical activity in your brain, and they use Neurable's AI algorithm to analyze that activity and identify different brain states. Once you're done focusing, the app will show you just how well you were focused, breaking down your focus levels into low, medium, and high by the minute. High focus is the goal, meaning you are fully paying attention, which is similar to a flow state in psychology. Now, you might think, I don't need an app to tell me how well I focus. I can focus just fine. But the fact of the matter is that how we feel subjectively about how well we are paying attention can be very different from what is actually happening objectively. Believe me, I had a bit of a rude awakening when first using the headset. For my first focus session, I slipped the headphones on, sat down with a book, and began reading, thinking to myself, you know, I got this, I'm pretty focused, I bet I'm getting really good data. Well, about 45 minutes later, I decided to complete the session, check the results, and turns out, it took me about 20 minutes just to transition from low focus to medium focus, and I didn't even achieve high focus once. I was feeling pretty down, but I started to feel better about myself when I learned that that's actually pretty normal for a typical human brain. You know, research shows us that it typically takes about 15 to 20 minutes for the brain to warm up, so to speak, to shift gears from whatever you have been doing to fully focus on a new mental activity. And it can take even longer to refocus after we become distracted. Now, it is possible to minimize this ramping up time by, say, studying at the same place or the same time each day, decluttering yourself from distractions, and so on. And in fact, these are exactly the kind of insights that the Neurable app starts delivering to you after wearing the MW75 Nero for a couple of days. And that's really the whole point of these headphones is to gain insight into your cognitive performance and then act on that data to improve your productivity. The Neurable app is gamified with digital trophies for reaching daily goals and hitting your weekly streaks, similar to other learning apps such as Duolingo. Personally though, these digital incentives don't do much to motivate me. As with learning a language, I think you have to actually really want to do it to be able to stick with it. And for me, the data itself was rewarding enough. Really, it's, it was like having a new window into my brain that I haven't looked through before. For instance, I discovered that I was more focused in the mornings and working at the office rather than at home. And after just a few sessions, I was able to achieve high focus levels much faster and much more consistently by just, you know, relaxing and letting myself tune into the work. I became more resilient to picking up my phone or getting lost in distractions. So the Neurable app recommends about 100 minutes of high focus a day in order to get enough data consistently over time to start recommending you those personal insights. That is really what motivated me to hit that target every day. But beyond that, the, you know, the digital trophies, the fire streaks for the weekly stuff, it does a little bit to motivate you, but again, you have to actually want to do this and actually value the data that is given you, I think, in order to make the most of it. Now, while the app is still in the very early stages, I do think the UI has some room for improvement, such as being able to group your focus sessions by a particular project you're working on, or maybe setting your own daily or weekly goals that you want to hit. Also, I wish the M&D Connect app and the Neurable app could just come together in one single app so that I don't have to switch between the two, you know, if I want to use the equalizer or go check my brain activity. The switching between the two often felt like a constant extra unnecessary step that just slowed things down. Put it all together in one. Please. Please. Please, <laughs> Please combine the app. Still, I was pleasantly surprised to see that the brain tracking actually works. You know, given just how small a surface area the ear pads cover on your head compared to a typical EEG headset that you would find in a laboratory, which covers the entire scalp. More than that, the data was actually helpful to me, and I found that it did help me improve my productivity habits. The app also delivered alerts to me that improved my mental stamina, because once it gets enough data, it will actually let you know when your brain needs a break before you even feel tired. I mean, just like any muscle, right? Your brain needs regular exercise and recovery time 
and the app delivers data on both. The company even plans to integrate Spotify with the MW75 Nero, which will allow it to track which songs and playlists help you focus better. It will generate personalized playlists based on those activities. I mean, who knows, maybe there's some music genre I would have never guessed that improves my focus better. But beyond tracking your focus levels, the technology Neurable has implemented into these ear pads has benefits for preventative health, which I'm really excited about. For instance, Neurable has done research to show that the MW75 headphones can record significantly different data of the brain activity of individuals with mental health or neurological disorders, such as ADHD or Alzheimer's. Because Neurable knows what brain activity patterns are consistent with these conditions, they could detect and flag them to you before they fully developed. I mean, imagine getting a notification on your phone that you could be at risk of developing Alzheimer's in the next 10 years and actually being able to go to a doctor to begin the preventative care early. That's well within the realm of possibility and that's amazing. Besides all the wonderful brain tracking technology that sets these headphones apart, how do they perform as, you know, headphones? Well, let's dig into the meat and potatoes. So these headphones aren't cheap. They cost $6.99. Part of that cost is because they are the first headphones with brain tracking features but also because they are, you know, pretty high-end headphones with a lot of high-end features. In terms of connectivity, you have support for AAC, SBC, Aptex Adaptive. You also get Bluetooth Multipoint to connect to two devices simultaneously. In terms of wired connections, there's a boatload of cables and connectors included. Look, even a flight adapter for when you're on an airplane. The only real downside to all these wired connections though is that you can't use any of the brain tracking features when listening wired. And while I understand that the Neurable app requires a wireless connection, it's still a bit of a bummer and it feels a little bit redundant. Like maybe this could have just been wireless headphones and that would have helped bring down the cost a bit. Battery life will also vary greatly depending on how you use the headphones. Because the EEG sensors are such a battery chain, you can expect less than 10 hours of playback using the EEG sensors with ANC on, which is far below a lot of other flagship headphones. But then again, that's just the cost of having brain tracking with these kind of sensors. And you know, they're the only ones to do it. Testing the ANC performance in our labs, the MW75 Neuro cancels noise reasonably well, reducing the perceived loudness of external noise by an average of 74%. Now that's not bad at all, but it's still not nearly as good as the best noise canceling headphones which costs half the price, by the way. Transparency mode, however, is also really good, and I was able to hear conversations across the room clearly. Now, onto sound quality. Unfortunately, this is where the MW75 suffers a bit. For starters, the MW75 Nero did not get a passing grade when it came to the multi-dimensional audio quality scores. The lowest score came in timbre, which means the headphones aren't doing a good job of playing the full spectrum of sounds as they should be heard. There's also some noticeable distortion, but thankfully the headphones scored fairly well for immersiveness, meaning that sources are well-defined in three-dimensional space. Overall though, according to the simulated panel of listeners as represented by MDAX, you probably won't enjoy how these headphones sound. As for the frequency response, you will notice quite a few deviations from the sound guy's preference curve. For starters, there's a sub-bass roll-off, which means you won't feel that deep physical rumble that sub-bass provides. The ear gain bump between two to three kilohertz is also far more subdued than what our target favors, which can make vocals and acoustic instruments sound like they're further away from you, you know, almost as if you're sitting a few rows back in a venue rather than right up front. There's also a very prominent treble peak at around seven to 10 kilohertz. Against the lack of the ear gain, it will make room effects, shimmering decay of cymbals, and breath noises in wind instruments uh, quite a bit louder than I was expecting. For spatial content, that can be fine, but it does cause cymbals and hi-hats to become overly prominent. In. Really, it's just an odd tuning for over-ear headphones and definitely not my first choice. Thankfully, you can make some adjustments using the five-band equalizer in the M&D Connect app, though, that will help ameliorate some of those foibles. As for the microphone quality, the MW75 Nero is perfectly suitable for phone calls in quiet conditions, but I did find it struggles with noise rejection if there are a lot of loud noises around you. You can listen to the recording samples for yourself in my full review or tell me how I sound right now in the comments below. Honestly, I'm very split because in a perfect world, I would prefer if I could just take these EEG ear pads and put them on something like the Bose QC Ultra 
or the Sony XM5 headphones instead because I prefer the tuning and the noise canceling capabilities of those. Sure, the MW75 is very high end, but that also puts them outside the price range for many people, including myself. Still, if you are excited about the brain tracking technology, there is hope because Master and Dynamic told me that they are committed to democratizing this technology and bringing it to more headphones in the future. So it's very likely that it's just a waiting game until the ear pads come to more affordable headsets. And I really hope they do because I would love to see a world where everyone can have this level of insight into their cognitive performance and be able to optimize their days accordingly as I was able to. Just like Fitbits revolutionize health tracking, I think Neurable is set to revolutionize mental health tracking by empowering people with all kinds of personal data. Now, if you don't want to pay $6.99 for a pair of headphones, but you are interested in what else M&D has to offer, then make sure to check out our review of the flagship MW09 earbuds right here. Here? Here? That way. There. <laughs> this way? Yes, right sure.